Find so. God. Don't have sex until marriage. What if you're like your God doesn't care about whether or not you're married or not? Well, he's not my God. He's our God. There's only one God. His name's Jesus Christ. False Everyone teacher. else is going to hell. Yes. What if you're Jewish? You don't believe in hell. Well, you're still going to hell. Just before you go, uh, we've been giving this to people we've talked to. Yeah. I like that. All right. I'll be honest with you. I have my hands full. But give this to someone who wants it more. I, I mean, if you didn't want it, why'd you take it? Because it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I know. But it's, I mean, it's your responsibility. Yeah. These kids, they, 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 they take a baby before they're ready for it, and then they gripe about it. I don't get it. Uh, we are here with New York Prevent Abortion, and uh, we're going to be giving a little demonstration. My friend Walter here has a foolproof method to prevent teen and adult pregnancy. Jordan Peterson's book. Keep this by your bedside table. It will not fail you at all. You can talk about cryptocurrency. Mention that Andrew Tate is your top G. I think a lot of you that met at this march today are going to hook up. A lot of you are going to go hook up with each other afterwards. Prove me wrong. The statistics are right there. You traveled, you went to a hotel together, chances are you did the thing. And I'm proud of you. Very proud of you. This says sexual morality is wrong, so yeah. you, you know, know why those laws are in place. It's, right. it's to separate yourself from the world. Okay, but well, here's a quick question. What if you're not Christian? Well, it doesn't matter if it's what matter. God you're says. Still bow down to your God said it. What if my God didn't say that? Well, that doesn't matter. It's that your God doesn't exist if, you, if your God is, is okay with sexual morality. I, I was pretty right. sure that we live in America where there's a separation between church and state. You're not going to well, force me to practice your... Could you show me the Constitution where it says separation between church and state? Absolutely. Sure, go ahead. I'll wait Absolutely. I have one right here. Yeah, go ahead. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Congress that cannot means, mandate no, a religion. Means the, that means the <laughs> church... Or that means Congress cannot cannot officially proclaim to be a certain religion. No, Congress cannot institute a national religion. If you That's read the I'm Federalist yeah, no, Papers, I agree. I agree. Like, like Jefferson said, we must erect a wall between church and state. That doesn't mean on Quincy Adams saying yeah. that the Constitution was written for a religious and moral people. It, I, I think that John Quincy Adams doesn't speak for the entirety of the Constitutional Congress that so wrote it. So then why do you say that the Federalist Papers do? Because in the conversations between Hamilton and the rest, they firmly established the idea of separation of church and state. But we can ignore Washington and, and Adams. Yeah, and John, and John Adams as well. No, yeah. they didn't. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you said John Quincy Adams. Yeah. You, and then you meant then you said John Adams. Quincy Adams. Right, right. Yeah, yeah not the so. second president of the United States, and not George Washington. Well, also John. George Adams. Washington, George Washington, Washington was a, did have a very yeah. similar quote. Absolutely. Yeah. No, he didn't. Head. In areas where they do abstinence only, the teen pregnancy rate is three times higher, and thus the abortion rate is higher. You don't want abortions, so comprehensive sex education. Rip it with either two hands. Or your teeth, if your hands are occupied. There is an innie and an outie side. You want the outie side, roll it down the banana to the bottom. When used correctly, this will prevent pregnancy in over 99% of cases. Used incorrectly, that number drops dramatically. Again, if your goal is to not get someone pregnant, obviously try not to have sex. The best way to do that is to not develop a personality. Classic examples is just say things you saw Elon Musk tweet about online. You can claim that it's your own, or you can say, it's my main man Musk, just like that. This book is the best way. Yeah, this book is the best way, but other than that, find God's number one. Don't have sex, wait till marriage. What if you're horny? Well, don't have sex, use your hand. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, guys, don't do that. I'm a proud uh, boy, I'm gonna have strict masturbation schedule, that's so nasty. that's not possible. That's nasty, man. Find God. Don't have sex until marriage. If you wait till marriage, statistically, you'll have more money and you'll have more happiness. What if you're like, your God doesn't care about whether or not you're married or not? Well, he's not my God, he's our God. There's only one God, his name's Jesus Christ. Islam, yes. Judaism. Well, so like Islam follows false gods. There's only one God, his name's Jesus Christ. It's the God of Christianity. There, there's false prophets, so false Everyone teachers. else is going to hell. Yes. What if you're Jewish, you don't believe in hell? Well, you're Max still going Jewish. to hell. I was raised Christian. That whole thing seems very like Old Testament to me. Like Old that, it's Old Testament's a very like punishing, unforgiving God. Well, see, and the, the whole Testament. point of Jesus was like, you know what? I mean, I've no, passed out right original track. sin. You're on the right track. You're on the right track. Yeah. The Old Testament w was before God uh, died and rose again. And when God died and rose again, and he got rid of original sin. A hundred percent. That's why we follow the New Testament. Us as Christians follow the New Testament. What parts of the New Testament specifically mention abortion? There's one in uh, the Book of Numbers that, that 
talks about well, abortion. Well, with the New Testament. It's in Proverbs, Psalms. And it, it's not, what, is it, what does it say about well, abortion? it's not specifically talking about abortion. It's talking about life. It talks about how I knew you before you were conceived. I knew you before you were born. I knew you before you were born, and that is Jesus specifically talking about abortion? Okay, so you're making it about abortion. I'm making it about life. What about ectopic pregnancies, anything like that? Okay, so if you're talking about extreme cases, you yeah. still can't fight fire with fire. I'm like a 13-year-old girl that was raped. She should be forced to carry that to term. So it's a terrible circumstance. It's 0.1% of all abortions. Yeah, and I mean, are, it's are almost due. as low as the amount of people that get, like, late-term uh, late abortions. No, late-term abortion is actually 13%. I don't it's think it's 13. Similar. I mean, what, what is it? Less, less than 1%. Third term, it, what source? CDC. You CDC is wrong. Where are you verifying 13%? I'm gonna have to pull it up on mine. I think you made that part up. I mean, how do, how do I make it up? Well, how it, did it you, seem you to be borne out by statistics? Yeah, I mean, you, okay. I mean, I, again, I like, yeah, I, I like, I'm trying to stay. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I could have got the trimester. It could be second trimester. Thirteen I mean, percent may represent something, but it's not that, right? Yeah. And like, like, and I, I guess maybe that's a little bit of making it up. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. still, regardless of the point, you know, sure. life, no, I mean, that's life, the point life, is life scientifically and medically begins at conception. Well, so I don't know that there's a consensus on that. Yes, there is. Ninety-six percent of liberal, mm -hmm. pro-choice scientists say and agree that Here's life begins in that, that I know the thing you're talking about. In the Bible, thirteen times it talks about giving the breath of life. It right? also says that he knew you before you were born. Yeah, but I say that like that's something that's like you say to a baby. It's just like I knew you before you were even but, born, I mean, when you were just a, a speck in someone's eye. Right? Well, I mean, a simple answer to how biblically it's wrong in the Ten Commandments: Thou shalt not kill. There are 714 things that are banned in the abortion. Uh, that are banned in the Bible. Abortions, I want. Just before you go, uh, we've been giving this to people we've talked to. Yeah. I like that. Right. I'll be honest with you. I, I have my hands full. But give this to someone who wants it more. I, I mean, if you didn't want it, why don't you take it? Because it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I know, but it's, I mean, it's your responsibility now. These kids, they, 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 they take a baby before they're ready for it, and then they gripe about it. I don't get it. Studies show that comprehensive sex education reduces the amount of teen pregnancy by two-thirds. That's substantial. Places that teach abstinence only have three times the teen pregnancy rates. Do you know what the number one killer of pregnant people is? Like, the number one reason for their death? I don't. It's murder. That's unfortunate. Right? I was saying, I think that the only good... Um, the reason is to save the life of right, and, and right. I, right, I'm saying that like you know because that used to be something that a lot of conservatives agreed with, but now it's a harder line, no exceptions. Right, and right? I'm, I'm willing to uh, yeah. I'm willing to compromise on that. I'm, I'm willing to start there. It's important to know how to use contraception correctly. Obviously, you should not have sex, but if you have to, like if they're really, 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 really good looking, do it safely. You can get a condom at basically any pharmacy or university in blue states to give it away on the street. Can you, can you read this part here? It's in uh, Article 6 of the Constitution. Just so. But no religious test shall ever be required of a qualification to any office or public trust. Or What is that? It means that they wanted to divorce the idea of religion from the state. They said at the time that when you mix church and state, it uh, it but undermines that? both. That just says that they don't have to be a certain religion. Throughout the federal government, there was this idea that when you but bring this, religion this into the federal government, it pollutes both. But this is this also. Like you've my, heard that quote, right? That was that was Thomas shifted, Jefferson. You, you also kind of shifted the we, conversation. I wasn't saying that, like like that. you were saying that the federal government should mandate that I follow your religion even no, if I don't. No, that's not that's not what I said. You said that the rules of your religion should apply to me even if I'm not a practicing Christian. No, I said that God He's, says what He says. Your God regard, says that. If you're a woman, they exist. You can also talk to your doctor about other forms of contraceptive. There is medication. If that is too much for you, there is something called an IUD. You have to have it inserted by a doctor, but it will prevent pregnancy for up to six years. What if you're Buddhist? That doesn't matter. Why? You, they because don't. They don't acknowledge your God. What are you talking about? Buddhists don't follow the Christian God. You, your argument was that abstinence is a bad argument I'm, to prevent I, pregnancy. Oh no no no. My thing is. No no, I don't no sorry care sorry. If it's a bad that that wasn't my that wasn't okay. my. So, so, so I, I want you to hear this. On, I want you, no I want you to hear this. Okay. Areas where they teach abstinence only, right? That's what you want. Abstinence only sex policy, versus similar areas where they teach comprehensive sex education. Right. The areas that teach abstinence only have pregnancy rates, teen pregnancy rates, they're three times higher. Yeah. Three times, that's statistically still, significant. Still, you would I agree that think, that's, that's statistically significant, right? I, again, I think it's completely irrelevant because if you're teaching what mor mor what's morally right, it doesn't matter what the consequences of that. The, well, no, they, they should be saying not to have sex. You shouldn't be having sex before marriage. I mean, I think that a lot of right? uh, school districts yeah. will advocate that you shouldn't have sex, but if you do, okay. here's and the I safe way to do it. Way to go about it. Right, it? I'm talking about preventing teen pregnancy, which is what you want. 
No, I want to prevent people from going to hell. That's the number one issue. Hell isn't in the Bible. I mean, where did hell come from? Where, are you a Jew? Yeah. Are, do you say that you're yeah, Jewish? We, yeah, we don't have a conception of hell. So, so don't you guys believe in Sheol? Abraham's bosom, and then you have Sheol, yeah. right? Yeah, we don't have a concept of health. We should do policies that have the outcome that we want, otherwise the policies don't work, right? If, like, no. I wanted to keep my family safe, I and 90% of my family died, that's not a good policy, no matter what I do. No, I like that first premise where you right. said, don't have sex. Right. But schools aren't doing that. I they? think a lot of schools are. Okay. That's, that's well, how well, my, that's sex my sex ed was comprehensive, and that's how that's they started. That's a good thing, that's a good right. thing. Well, if you're well, teaching the, 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 abstinence and? Right. Okay. Yeah, abstinence is always part of comprehensive sex education. I don't think it's either or, I think it's both and. Right, right, no, you teach both. 100%. No, no, th but that's the thing. My when, bad. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Okay. That's so why that's so why I had to make sure we were on the same so page at the okay beginning. So you're okay with abstinence and right. like the safe the safe sex right. stuff. Right. Right, right, right. Like, like comprehensive sex education has both okay, and that's why it works. Okay. You just abstinence only. Yeah, right. That's the problem. I think you yeah. should do both if it's only one thing you're not getting the whole I was mistaken. Right, right, right. Yeah. I was mistaken. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, and I thought we were okay. that's why I wanted to clarify cuz I'm like I think we're arguing two different things yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. I think we both kind of build up some straw mans there. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It's totally okay. But yeah, we're on the same page. Okay, yeah, yeah. So abstinence and as far as school education and stuff like, that's fine by me. Right, right. exactly. Because I, 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 I had an issue with encouraging young no, kids. No, no, to no, have no. Sex. I think that's the way that the guys over there pitch comprehensive sex, but yeah. that's not the way it is in the okay. classroom. All right, man, my bad, bro. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. We did this thing that's bipartisan. We're saying we were trying to get signatures for universal pre K, nationwide free lunch for children, and expanded access to child care for working parents. I don't know if I could sign it because I don't ex I don't exactly know what what that is. But I, I, I would encourage though when you go home looking at it because again there's a politicized version of these issues. Yeah. But ultimately if like these things again we're we're outcome minded right we look at stats and see what uh -huh. works. When we expanded uh, free lunch uh, during COVID, mm -hmm. we found that. Um, right now, one in seven children in this country go to bed hungry. 11 million kids. Yeah, very sad. Food insecure, right? Yeah. That cut that in half. Yeah. When they had those policies, but then it expired. Okay. Right. So that's why we're pushing. But I do have to go. No, no, absolutely. It was great. It was great talking to you. Man. you man. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we're, we can agree to disagree. We didn't. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't yeah. come to blows. Our hands stayed at our side the entire time yeah, we spoke. Yeah. Yeah. True, right. True. Yeah. Well, I'm not violent. No, no, no. Shake hands and go. Anyways, thank you guys.